The first clinical trial of a therapy that originated from research funded in part by the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine had its beginnings in the laboratory of Dr. Katrina Jamison of the University of California, San Diego. Studying life-threatening disorders in which blood cells proliferate wildly and eventually progress to acute leukemia, Jamison used stem cells to prove that a very specific inhibitor of a cell pathway shown to be mutated in these patients could halt the disease. This traditional small molecule drug is now in clinical trials, and these are her patients' stories. Prior to the start of the study, my spleen had enlarged, lengthened, and protruded. My spleen was huge. Yeah, he's using a walker. Uh, shortness of breath. Just out of energy. Loss of uh, 10 pounds in a couple of months. Just drag myself from work to home, work to home. I would come home and at 7 o'clock I'd be laying down on the couch. It was an end game scenario. Didn't have a match, bone marrow match of any kind. So every time I'd see him I'd say, is there a trial out there that I can go on and try and, you know, become a part of that will help me? He says, yes, there is. He sent me down to see Dr. Jameson. Seven days after starting the medication, my spleen had gone from 21 cent and a half centimeters to 10. I had very quick results. My spleen started getting smaller. I could roll over and sleep on it at night. When she started me on the trial, I too had immediate results that were just fabulous. Within a month, I went from a walker to a cane. My white count came down to almost normal within a month's mm -hmm. time, and they couldn't believe the results. I couldn't either. The results are dramatic in my case, and uh, very, very grateful <laughs> for, that, for that change. I'm going back and doing things and, and being productive. Went back to work in February. Within three months of starting to see Dr. Jameson, I went back for 32 hours a week. And just recently, I went back 40. Yeah. <laughs> and you met somebody, I understand. Yes, I have someone new in my life. Actually, it's somebody from high school, and we rekindled the relationship after 40 years. It's one of those kind of stories. <laughs> so she always brings this up. I have to. I just can't get over it. So this is about new beginnings. It's about giving people a new lease on life, not just extending lifespan, but actually quality of life and I think that's really important so thank you very much thank Teresa. you